Hello, and welcome to another How Not To Draft MTG, with uh, Joe on his own, I'm afraid, just me. Um, before I jump in, I just wanted to say a few things. Um, obviously going to try some M12, looking forward to it. It's my first M12 draft, so you have to cut me some slack, you know, give me a chance to readjust. And it's also my first draft in six weeks, so you know, I've gone cold turkey on them for six weeks, haven't been able to play, but I'm back, I'm ready to go, looking forward to it. Um, yeah, the other things that I need to mention are that we'll be getting back together soon in September, which is, judging by my calendar, like two or three weeks away, so you guys have got maybe a couple of weeks of um, not many videos, but hopefully we'll get some out to you later on. Um, and lastly, just want to apologise uh, for the lack of gameplay videos in Matt's um, drafts, it's because he's in a bad internet area and he hasn't been able to uh, keep uh, to uh, upload all of them, so you know, he's just struggling with that but, you know, we'll do what we can um, of course, I'm in good internet because I'm awesome, so you'll definitely get at least round one videos from me maybe round two if I do well we'll see how it goes, so yeah just going to jump into this uh, 4 3 two, two. Not, like, <laughs> not crazy enough to go for the 8-4 quite yet, but we'll give it a go let's see what we get and here we go, pack one, pick one. Also, just sort of point out before we start analysing this pack, I swear there's a new animation now, because as I came into this, there was a little bit of a, of a ruffling, sort of like this, as it's sort of opening the pack. So if that's true, and that's just not me being crazy and weird, uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that continuing. Um, you know, just a bit of immersion, but looking at the pack, I don't think we're doing anything other than taking Inferno Titan. Um, which is pretty good because I heard Red and Black are pretty good in this set. I mean, again, haven't played it, so not really sure what's going on. Um, I know Cudgel Troll is quite good. Uh, I heard the Mage Cycle is pretty awesome as well. Um, apart from that, it's not amazing. As that, that guy's pretty good, Salt Griffin. Well, actually, I don't know what I can do for you guys and give you guys uh, the card pop out so you can see what's going on. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with Inferno Titan. Not really sad to be taking a Mythic Rare, which I quite like, so that's good. Uh, okay, so what are we looking at here? Sutured Ghoul, is this guy any good? I think maybe not. He's a bit slow. I heard this this set is very quick. Um, so what kind of archetypes are there? There's. I heard there's some sort of red-white deck, and that leans me towards Peregrine Griffin, although I'm not sure how good he really is. Um, obviously, Manic Vandal's alright. Um, I would rather not take him second pick. Acidic Slime's good. Uh, this guy's not terrible. Garak's Companion's good. I don't like green though, so that's a problem for me. But then, it's a tough one. Could go Acidic Slime. I don't think I'm going one of the red cards. I don't think I'm going the white card. I don't think I'm going with Sutra Ghoul either. I think the pick would have to be Acidic Slime. Let's see what we get coming up. Okay. Um, hmm. Not really very reassuring. So, you've got. I don't know if this guy is any good. Brenda Ball's always moderately okay. Ice Cage is flimsy at best. Now, yeah, see, Stave Off is, is. I like Stave Off, and I think I probably should have taken the Peregrine Griffin at this point. Um. Ah, this is not a great pack at all, really. It's pretty terrible. Uh, should I keep on the green and go... Uh, Brindleball third pick seems really bad. I, t I don't know what these cards are any good. What's this? Is that a mill that card? Mm. No. Milling is poo bears. Um, so green, we've got green. Ah, I like stave off. I think I might just take this, just in case. See where we go from here. Okay, see there's Benish Veteran. He's pretty good. Giant Spider is good. Soren's Thirst is very good. Alabaster Mage, not well, it's probably the worst one of them, but he's still alright. Crumbling Colossus. Combat, okay. Manolith I heard is quite slow. So I could go Benish Veteran, get the white, or does green look a bit more open here? I think probably Oh, no, I think they both look quite with Giant Spider and, ben and Rampant Growth. Um, at the moment, my guys are pretty big. 
depends. Is Burnish Veteran and Stave Off better than Six Line? Probably not. So, Rampant Growth or Giant Spider? I think I'll take the Growth because my guys are pretty big at the moment. I like to speed into them a little bit. Okay. Oh, Mythic Rare in Time Reversal. Um, Mana Leak. Lurking Crocodile is pretty nice. I like that. Especially with the Bloodthirst. I can look into that. Let's cost sort it up a bit. Ooh, interesting. Um, yeah, I think if I was anything else, I'd take Malalik because I love blue, but Lurking Crocodile seems like a solid pick for my deck. Okay, Crown of Empires, which one's this? That's the Tapper. That one's not so good. Stonehold Diggatry, I heard this guy's pretty okay. This guy's apparently pretty good as well, I've heard. Um, I'm not really red at all, am I? I've been cut pretty hard on the red. Obviously, I can't go out of it because Inferno Titan is amazing. Um, so I'm definitely green, but the green is terrible. Um, there's Fling. That's always a good little option. Mind Rot's also a solid card. I think just to stick on colour, I'm going to go Fling. Keep the signals going. And there's a Lurking Crocodile. But then there's a Skywinder Drake and a Peregrine Griffin. So this guy's pretty nice. I very much like the Cloud Elemental from M11. Combust. Uh, no, pretty pretty weak. So uh, apparently all the Bloodthirst guys are good, so he's pretty good. I like the Peregrine Griffin. I think he's rateable. Well, there's just another Croc. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go. With the croc, I think it's probably safe. Ah, Stinger Fling, that guy should not be there. <laughs> okay, I'll take a Stinger Fling Spider. I heard that guy's pretty good. Uh, I think I might take. Oh, it's tough. Without anything to enchant onto this guy, I think probably Rampant Growth might be a better pick. And we'll just, we'll just power through with what we got. Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, I might play him. Um, take the card that actually might be good, which is odd because it's a Coral Merfolk. Well, <laughs> it's Manny Vandal back. Uh, it could be useful if they've got some stupid card. Sideboard, really. Uh, it's nice to pick up. Uh, you can have your Bountiful Harvest. Trash card from L11. <laughs> so, I don't think I'm white. Um, I think I'm definitely green, uh, and I would like to be red, but I don't know, I think I need to find some removal <laughs> that isn't Stinger Fling Spider or Acidic Slime. Mm, leave that up. Show all. I mean, Taste of Blood's a good little uh, initiator. So, we got here in pack two, pick one. Oh, it's Lewis. Let's just. Oh, I can't talk to him, can I? <laughs> okay, he doesn't seem to realise that. Let's, uh, let's go away from that. Okay, um, Blood Ogre, good. Basilisk, good. Looter, good. Drake, pacifism. Uh, so yeah, the bottom row is terrible, so it's probably Ogre, Basilisk, Pacifism. What's the white like? The white's not great. Blood Ogre, however, would probably be pretty good. Let's grab that. Hmm. Scramble verse. Volcanic Dragon. Gideon's Lawkeeper. Okay, well I'm feeling... Uh, I'd... Apparently this guy's good as well, the Goblin Fastling. So let's hide blue, because it's definitely not a consideration. Let's hide white, because all I have is stave off. Hide black. So, Lawkeeper's good. Tiny Reforms is alright. Volcanic Dragon, obviously, very nice. Six mana. Flying Haze 4-4, four, four. that's pretty sweet. Ah, I'm going to get that thing where I get completely... No, I'm, I can't. I don't think I can take this guy. I think something like the Goblin Flyer thing might be a better choice. 
Please does turn on my two rare lurking crocodiles and the blood ogre. Ah, but there's Gideon's Lawkeeper as well. I hate to see that go past. Oh god. <laughs> They're bombarding me. <laughs> um, right, what we got here? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, another Gideon's Lawkeeper, wow. Um, what other things we got here? Stampeding Rhino is pretty terrible, I've heard. Urgh. I don't see anything but Lurking Crocodile in this pack for me and Stampeding Rhino. So, on that basis, I might take this Law Keeper um, and see what we can do about it. Because, like, this guy, we're not going to play. This guy, we're not going to play. We don't have to play for Link. We can play the Law Keeper as, like, a, a splash off of... What's his name? I think... Because with double ramp and growth, I think I can pull that off. Oh, what on earth is going on there? Right, hold on, let me catch up. Hi, Blue. Hi, that. Hi, land. Right, so what I've just seen is I've seen this Oblivion Ring, um, which obviously has whetted my appetite for white somewhat more. And a whole lot of nothing else. So that's what we're going with. A bit of a removal in Oblivion Ring. Okay. Arachnus Web. Removal. Goblin Bang Chuckers. Kind of good. Volcanic Dragon. Good. Mana Barbs. Eh. Uh, no, not interested in that. So. Yeah. I think it's probably between the Dragon and the Arachnus Web. The Web is probably... Uh, let's get rid of this guy as well, because we're not going to play him. Probably not going to play all the Lurking Crocodiles. The Arachnus Web is... Well, I haven't actually seen this yet. I've seen people pick it in drafts on Draft Magic and whatnot, but I'm not really sure what it does. Uh, can't attack or block as a couple... That's pretty good. At the beginning of the step, if you check for each power, it's four or greater to destroy Arachnus Web. Okay, so it's quite situational, but it can be pretty powerful. Uh, that being said, I'd rather have a Volcanic Dragon. Hmm... You know what I like? I like this Fire Slinger. Um, I th I've heard these are very good. Just because the, it just gives me a solid turn on for these, which is what I want to see. So I'm going to take that, I think. Oh, well, actually, I think, uh, I think that might be a better choice. Because it will let me splash my white cards better. Uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Okay, right, so we're going to leave that for now. I'm not going to touch that now. I'm not going to go anywhere near white unless it's removal or another law keeper or something like that. That's all it's there for because the green and red is being cut really hard on me, so I can't do much about that. Um, right, green cards reclaim, reverberate, quick target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new toy. Eh. What am I picking otherwise? Like maybe a stave off or a lava axe? I'm just gonna take reverberate. Sucker for rares. Um what we got here? Thrangolum. Boo. Carnage worm. <laughs> uh gotta be careful. Going really high end, but it's not really anything else to take. So I'm gonna go take a carnage worm. Um yeah, just have a greater basilisk. I mean a lot of these high end stuff is gonna get cut, I think. Um, so just, well, I could probably spa, you know, bring that in against some aggro decks. Uh, I'm not adverse to removing the divine favor. <laughs> I don't really know. Don't know the cards. Uh, fog could be useful. Mm, I'd like a ponder for myself. There we go. And lands. Got to build up my M12 collection of lands. <laughs> so, probably not playing Reverberate, not playing you. Uh, I've got 11 creatures of Blooming Blood, they're playing those, probably playing all this. So, uh, this is this is a bit big for my liking. Probably not going to play you, actually. Got to find some good cards in this uh, next pack. So, with the Sun Petal Grove and the two Rampant Groves, I'm pretty happy to splash white. 
he says as he opens a Sarah Angel. <laughs> um, hmm. 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 As he says, he strokes his beard. What to do? Well, I pose it to you. What? How can I not take the Sarah Angel in this pack and try and make white work? And maybe, I don't know, push another colour out. Because look, what am I taking otherwise? Like, Fog is the only green card, and Goblin Bang Chuckers or Goblin Arsonist? I don't know, I'd rather much have uh, Ah, but that's a big creature! Ah, I need small creatures. Joe, stop doing this to yourself! Um, uh, <laughs> I'm literally going to be banging my head against the table. Uh, I really want to take this. What's this guy do? No, he's not very good. No, that can't be any good either. I'm taking a Sarah Angel. I'm sorry. Okay. So again, the red cards I don't think are very hot. The green cards, Troll Hide's pretty cool, apparently. As always. And then there's some nice white cards in the Benelish Veteran, who is a solid little dude. So I'm leaning towards cutting some of this red out, like, and going white-green maybe, and having the red as the splash, I don't know. I think red has probably been cut quite hard. I'm going to take the Banished Veteran, I think, because I know this guy's pretty good apparently. I think I need to get my creature count up, and that's a card I could probably definitely play. Okay... There's another rampant growth, I'm going to play him. The Stormblood Berserkers, however, uh, I like those. Matt has uh, said to me they are nice. I trust Matt's opinion when it comes to these kind of things. Uh, I'm not taking Arch Druid, I'm not taking a Hellhound, don't really want another rampant growth. Yeah, no, I think the Stormblood Berserkers win it. Okay. So we have Goblin Grenade, but only one Goblin, so that seems like a problem. We have Act of Treason, which is probably the only one that's good. So I'm going to take it. Yeah, so that plummets. Alright, so I sideboard back to Treason, I will actually probably play in my deck, so can't go wrong. Um, again, I think I need lower end, so. It's probably going to be Rusted Sentinel or Sacred Wolf. I'd rather a Sacred Wolf. Well, actually... Uh, I don't really have a 4-drop, do I? Hmm. I'm actually leaning towards this Rusted Sentinel. It comes in taps, but then it's a 3-4, whereas that's a 3-1. It does have Hexproof, but then we don't have anything that would benefit us to that. I'd rather just have a 3-4 dude, because... Yeah, I'd rather have that guy. Oh, he says he gets fucking troll hide next next card. Uh, do I have enough creatures to work troll hide? I suppose I am greeny. What does this do? <laughs> nice flavor text. Um, I'm not gonna really indulge that card though. Uh, it's probably going to be between like Brindlebore and Trollhide. I suppose Brindlebore is really good against those sort of aggro decks, which I think we are probably not anymore. So yeah, let's go for him. I think Garrick's Companion. I don't think it's going to be coming down turn two, but that said, I think he is still a solid dude. Um, I'll take another Benelish Veteran though. So we're definitely a lots of different colours. Oh, it's back to my original pack. I'm going to take the Sundial of the Infinite <laughs> just because it's funny. <laughs> Scarred down to your maximum hand size, damage wears off, and this turn and in turn and the turn effects end. I think that could be neat. I think that could be funny. I, I look forward to using it. Um, getting this top end, but I think from what I've been told, Goblin Arsonist isn't bad. In this set, uh, blah, blah blah blah, stop people drawing cards. Reclaim could be interesting. 
uh, tectonic rift, just in case we need to destroy some land. So, yeah, not really what, sure what happened here. Got got Inferno Titan, and then kind of stumbled a bit and went, Ugh. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll see how we build it, see what we can do. Come on, don't care about the last two cards. Okay, we're back. Uh, just take a circle of flames because I don't really know what that card is. Right. Let's build this motherfucker. Is all I can say. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Okay, we'll get rid of the card. Right. So, um, hmm. So my solid color is probably green. So rampant growth, companion, brindle boar. Slime, that guy, probably the crocodiles are in. Red is probably my next one with these cards. <sighs> next up, what, white? Part by color, so what, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, white. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pardon me. Red and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Green. Okay, let's see. Put some petal grove in. Oh, and the rusted sentinel. So I don't really know how many lands you're supposed to play in this kind of thing. I think you probably eighteen to seventeen land. Do I have room for Sonda of the Infinite? <laughs> I think it would be funny if I could play it. Uh, what's that do? Uh, that's boring. Did I, did I get one of those um, wolves? No, apparently I didn't. Never mind. Stave off. Mm. It's a trick. Is that or like maybe the Verberate could be cool? Or Carnage Worm. I think I've got my high end down. I think maybe like the arsonist might be an idea just to get that little extra dude in there. So, so seventeen land. One of them being the sun petal. At land. Five five six four six six. I think because you've got five and seven there, plus the two rampant growth makes that go up to six seven. Uh, seven eight, so seven eight seven. So maybe drop a plains for a forest because we need to get the, hit the ramp and growth really. Uh, but that leaves you only really. Well, it's a f what a one in ten. Well, one in ten. No, it's uh. <laughs> you need to hit two of them, so it's a. Yeah. No, I think that'll be alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got one of each. Oh, well, actually, that's the same. Mountains, different. Actually, cooler, so it's alright. And planes. Really bumhole planes, yeah. <laughs> alright. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with this, and we'll take this to round one, and we'll see you guys there. Bye.